the songs that we wrote during the various lockdown periods, I remember past the peak probably being the most annoying just because I had the verse part for ages. I can't actually remember coming up with the idea. Like loads of the songs were right. I can always pinpoint like the, the moment, the, moment, the location yeah. we were at, like everything about the scenario. Whereas this, I, I, I literally just, just flew under the radar. Yeah, I can't actually remember coming up with anything for the song. It just, it was just there. But I do remember it taking forever to finish. Yeah. I had the verse part, and then I came up with the, the pre-chorus. At the end of the pre-chorus, I just ended up repeating the last two chords of the pre-chorus, and that became the became chorus. The chorus. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that melody was just the first thing that kind of came, came to my mind. Okay. Which was quite rewarding because after all of that graft and yeah. all of that time like being just stuck on the verse, as soon as the next part came, the song was finished pretty quickly. Yeah. But the time it took to get from the very first verse part to the, to actual, the next yeah, part yeah. just took absolutely ages. Just took forever, so so from a lyric point of view, I actually read a news article about someone who ended up addicted to painkillers because she had like a knee injury and instead of like dealing with the injury, she just ended up taking painkillers instead. And it kind of reminded us of the Queens of Stone Age song, Better Living Through Chemistry. It's just quite a cool concept. So that's like kind of where it started. But then I feel like it morphed a bit from, from that initial idea. Yeah. Kind of more into just like the issues behind why that occurs in the first place if that makes sense what just the idea of like rather than combat the problem you'd rather paper over the cracks and yeah the pills or the the gaffer tape or the, <laughs> yes the, br the, the cracking house that's yeah. about to fall down yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. totally a good question because if you asked everyone that was involved in making the video <laughs> what the video meant I don't think anyone say, would give you the same answer. Yeah. I think I don't think anyone really knows exactly what the video means. I think it's purposefully left pretty ambiguous anyway. Yeah. I like to think of it as it's a group of friends that are then poisoned in some way by the introduction of a, of a, a mystical box. a mystical object. <laughs> yes. I think of it as like a kind of symbolic representation of something that kind of manipulates and corrupts. I also thought like obviously at the end it's got all of the red like us playing it's almost like a representation of the box holds the worst version of ourselves. Yeah, I like it. That's deep. That though. is the meaning of our own video. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> We've kind of already covered that. Chicken so, wings. Yeah, um, it's really open to uh, your own interpretation, I guess. What isn't in the box is maybe the question that you need to answer. What do you want to be in the box? Yes. I think that's pretty that much is, it. That is past the peak, I guess. Yeah. Go and listen to it. 